And hello everybody, Aaron Prime 117 is here again. And yeah, it's good to be back on again. Now, this is a little topic I haven't really gone into yet because it's something that was gonna that was supposed to happen last week, but I was I was planning on a trip and all, so I was gone for a while. What this stuff is here is my is my birthday gifts, cause on Independence last week, if you saw my on my fireworks video, it was my birthday that day. So, and these came in while my trip was being planned and all, all after my birthday came. So I couldn't and do my video with opening these, but now a week later, I'm able to do it now. So, well, truth be told, I just got back from my trip a couple a day ago, although. But I left last week, so you know how it is. But luckily, my friend was able to hold on to these. So let's get to opening them, shall we? Ugh, man, every time I open one of these, I feel like like I'm going to cut myself out one day. <laughs> now, oh, what's in here is something that I ordered online and all. But it's a little something. Then, and I, was, I had my little doubts on a while back and all. But until I found out what could be done with it, well, I decided I'm getting one on anyway. But I had to make sure I could find a fair deal on one. And plus, you know how I am and all. Well, just like whenever I do this stuff and all, it's just... What's the right word? I'm kind of like, like a nerd when it comes to prices. <laughs> but even so, that ain't the best of things and I'll ain't it. Now, I bu now, this package actually contains three items that came in one. Even though I thought they'd all come in... One. So let's see what we got. And it's something I was wanting for a while. First off, I'll, this is a this is a micro oh, switch card and all. And second, oh yeah, that's a long one too. Second, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And if you can guess what the last item is, don't bother saying it in the comments. It's because it's a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I've it's been so long since I wanted to get one of these now. No, because when I first saw these, these in online and all, and what they could do and all, though, I was kind of a little doubtful, though. But until I saw on some of the videos on what could be done with this thing, I was like, I'll get one of these. But the truth be told, I didn't decide it, though, until I saw the new model for for the OLED Switch. And I was like, huh, that looks interesting and all. Well, except when I saw it, though, for pricing-wise, 600 bucks when it came. And honestly, I wasn't going to save up on 600 bucks of gift cards and all. Well, I decided to go with a, with an original one because people were saying the, the OLED model, it ain't worth it. Not a, not in current present form though, too. But for this one, I got this for like for three hundred dollars, there's actually plus the game for for probably an extra forty or fifty bucks, and this memory free chip for about I think thirty bucks probably. You know, yeah, thirty bucks and all though. Truth be told, these memory cards are, can be expensive though. Oh, and a game, of course it is, even though this game is more than a year old. But Mario Kart is one of, one of Nintendo's best creations and all. Oh, plus, I might get the original well, then Mario Kart or 8 that's also on the Wii U and all. Maybe do a side-by-side -side comparison. You know how it is. Is And also, now that I have a Switch and all, though, this is going to be me taking my gaming channel to the next level and all. Oh, of course, that could have been... And also done with an Xbox Series X or a PS5, though. But I'll get those eventually. But for now, moving on to the rest of these and all. These other packages I got is actually a gaming collection. And I've been wanting to get for a while. Truth be told, when these came out a while back and all, though. Before where the latest one came for the Switch and all. I was like, I'm not too sure about these and all, though. Because the first one I had a long time ago, I had trouble enjoying it, though. But for now, I actually like them now. Because... If you know the Olympics on Olympics and all, somehow, <laughs> it's just like, what's the right word? Awesome now. So let's get started. Yeah, making sure I don't want to cut through the case and all when I do these. Yeah, just cut a little notch instead. Start with fun. So much. So the first one I got is Mario and Sonic at the Rio Olympics. So, and all. Rio Olympics was pretty looks pretty cool and all when I saw it and all. All looks natural and all. Yeah, gaming case and everything. But truth be told, well, this is actually 
you know, rare game and all, too. To find a fair deal on this one, one, it wasn't that easy, actually. They, too. The rest of the other collection games, they went for lower prices than this one, because this one was the most expensive of them. About maybe 130 bucks or 125 the rest of them I got, I got them for fail, fair deals between, you know, maybe between, between 20 and 100 bucks, actually. I don't know why, though. I guess the Rio Olympics game was quite popular when it came. But who knows? Mario and Sonic really did go oh, head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe -to -toe in, in the Olympics games. <laughs> so much that came, came from them. I was like, I don't know what this game is like and all, though, and so I'm not going to get it. Until well, I looked up some more on it and all, I was like, wow, why did I not get these games when they came out around the time? Yeah, that's how it is. Is go ahead and call me stupid if if you want to. I won't I won't cry. <laughs> so the next one is the Mario and Sonic's London and Olympics game. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and as you all should know, each Mario and Sonic's Olympics game takes place on an on a different in a different country and a different in state of of wherever they, they started from. Um, yeah, and like finding this one and all, this one was tough to get a good deal on too. Because each one I found when I was getting the when I was getting the right moment to buy it and all, they kept going out. It kept getting like sold and bought, and I was like, man, how many times do I got to keep going through all this? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, why do you all have to, to keep finding so much and all though? Oh, I like these things and all. Why do you gotta keep stealing in my moments? Taking it from me. Me ruining my time to shop. <laughs> uh, you know, so much and all though. But even so, there's a whole lot to it and all. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> I might have a lot of questions to ask Mario when, when I meet him live, live at the Rockefeller or Nintendo World in New York City one day. For all of you who never knew about that, it's a thing and all. Just like like they, like if you go to Nintendo Land in Tokyo to meet them, um, that's another thing I want to do because they talk to you too. Now we have the original Mario and Sonic's Olympics game, the first one that came came on the Wii back in the day. And truth be told, this was one of my first Wii games. I my dad got me when he bought me a Wii a long time ago. Oh, truth be told, this was one of my least favorite games because I didn't understand it. And it, the controls were so tough to get the hang of and all. I was just more into my Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort game. Well, Wii Sports Resort didn't come out till a while after the Wii was made and all. But that was all fun and all, so now I'm going to finally get to experience this once again and all on how the, much fun it used to be. It was a lot of fun back then, but, and well, understanding it all, but now I, I know exactly how to, how to comprehend the games and all. So I can make sure to score well and have a lot of fun and all. Heck, maybe I'll give my friends a run for their money and all. Is it? Now we have Mario and Sonic Winter Olympics. It's, there were, I like, a while back, one of my friends who, when he was a baby and all, and I had to help my mom babysit him, as he got, when he got older and all, he got this game. He actually showed it to me and, and we played it together. There, I had a little trouble getting the hang of it and all though, but he did pretty well with it though. Oh, and truth be told, you can also play as your own me in some of these game, games, too. That's a little bit of a perk for giving and all. It's just, it's good to actually have a collection like this and all, because, like, as I told you, I'm a nostalgic gamer, and truth, I like to play games on the on the new modern consoles, too. But nostalgic, nostalgia and all when it comes to this kind of stuff, oh, People love the old old generation and all when they don't see too much of it anymore, or when they see other video, people posting videos on them and all, or of games they play from that generation, or even getting a console from that generation, like on eBay or something. It makes them ecstatic knowing that that they're still around and all. Of course, the old generation still lives on and all. Every generation does, because even though things are evolving, there's evolution happening and all, and like. Like, the gaming world is changing and all. Well, some say, hey, it's not so good. Some say it's amazing. Some are just neutral on it. Truth be told, well, I don't care either way and all. I do love the old generation no matter what and all, though. And even so, like, I'll never stop loving the old generation. I'll keep these games tight and sealed up properly and all. 
Oh, and I'll make sure if I ever start a family myself, I'll teach them how to play too. Ooh. But I will never let them sell my games and all. Oh, they will be in my will. Oh, you want to sell? You will never be allowed to sell this stuff at all. Oh, because this is what makes my channel popular. Well, many other things too. But you know what I mean. I and mean, some people can be funny with that. Some people just say it for, hey, because that's how they are. But me, I like to make a little bit of it hilarious. Well, maybe I'm not being too hilarious, though, but I do try, though. Now, this one is a game aim that I was trying to find and so easily, though. But truth be told, this one is just as rare here as the Rio Olympics. This is Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics Sochi. You know, for the Wii U and all. Oh, truth be told, there were only a, like maybe, maybe a ha a small handful of these left on eBay that were completed and that were in very good condition. The rest were either on bidding or in, or didn't have the case with them. They just came with the game and all. And to get one completed like this, it would be impossible if I waited probably any longer. But I'm glad to have this one and all. Oh, well, and like just looking at it and all. <laughs> Well, well, the case looks a little damaged and all, oh, but at least the front is see looks okay and all though, and so is the back. Truth be told, if you can see the little little break in the in the sealant right there, but that's not not bad at all. It'll go well in my collection and all. Besides, it's, I'm gonna have to find a spot to put all these thing these games that I'm collecting and all. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy myself a storage shelf soon or some what are those or some of those shipping containers and all. But anyway. Moving on, if you, since you've seen all these ones, you can probably guess what this last one is. Oh. Oh, you don't have to say it in the comments if you don't want to and all, oh, since I'm opening it. And besides, truth be told, this one is the most, I think it's the most popular of them all, oh, actually, because of like, this one actually kind of seems the most modern of them. Because in this one, Nintendo actually gave Mario, Sonic, and their friends and proper or outfits and all for the game. Well, <laughs> truth be told, in the winter and the other Olympics, not the not the winter ones. Well, the winter and uh, some of the other ones, they had. I know uh, what was that word? Yeah, some of them had special outfits for some of the some of the certain ev events, but this one. <sighs> They had some. They had their original, you know, outfits, but they also had at their at other outfits to match, match the event. Man, this one's got the most tough wrapping on it. I thought I wouldn't need this again. Got to cut it deep open. <laughs> so much. So much effort for nothing. Or should I say, an effort for something? Ah, uh, yeah, some kind of, yeah, addressing. Nothing more. But yet, this is it. Mario and Sonic at the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. The most modern of the Olympic Games. And this one, just looking at, if you look at the back and all, you can tell they actually have uh, outfits that actually match their events. And truth be told, in this one... When this is actually a, a really big favorite I've been watching online for a while, and not to mention, like, <laughs> it actually goes real well and all. Motions, motion wise, wise, it's pretty good. But it got a little better and all, though. But a lot of people have said this game was a fail and all, though, and I'm like, no way. Hey, looking at the video and all, and trust me, this one is good and all. Plus, this is the first. No, wait, was it? Actually. Mario and Sonic Sochi Winter Olympics was the first one with the story-based mode. Mode and all, though. But the, but the campaign in this one was a little hard to understand a little bit, though. But this one has its first authentic story in it and all. In it and all. Oh, sort of like how it's kind of like something like Mario and Sonic. They, they get caught in a, in a web wrangle or some kind of like trap by Eggman and Bowser. And like... <laughs> I don't know how they came up with it and all, though. I watched the campaign storyline to it and all, and it was pretty good and all. And I was like, this could be good and all, though. 
Plus, a handful of these are also on the 3DS and all, though. I might get them. I don't know. Oh, but I will be getting a 3DS one day to go along with my collection. But, as you all, all know, I've got a long way to go before I can start making money with this channel and all, though. But these, video, but these games and made with videos on them, they're going to help me along the way. Plus, I'm really getting interested in how, in how the motion games work on the Switch and all, though. Like, Mario Odyssey and all. Look, when I heard about that one and I looked it up and all, though, about how the game was played and all, like, I don't have it yet, though, but I will get it eventually. And I was like, wow, this one takes a double... Well, it takes a double controller system to play it. Actually, like, you'd use two controllers for to play the game, kind of like using, the, using two motion controllers where it's on a PlayStation VR or an Oculus. Just and all. Like... And looking at that and all, though, there's going to be a lot, lot to come um, with the Switch and with, with the rest of my consoles and, and the games I get and all, though. So stay tuned, everyone. On Mario and Sonic and the Olympic Games, games are going are gonna to start rolling in on my channel soon. Oh, and truth be told, well, my Mario oh, and Sonic Olympic Games from Sochi and the Rio Olympics. These are my first two Wii U games I got on disc, actually. Actually, you know, soon I'll be downloading in the DS games I can play on my Wii U and all to go along with my with what I can do. And also, once I get the rest of these rolling in, and a whole lot of fun is coming, I mean, your way when you want to watch my channel. But for now, oh, stay tuned, everyone. More is going to be coming eventually. And when I, I get everything ready to to begin again and it's gonna be so much fun and all though oh and also make sure to stay tuned for mario kart 8 a deluxe i'm looking forward to playing this one again and because looking back when i first played it and all though i sunk real bad when playing against my friends and all though but just but just wait and see i'm gonna be, be getting coins winning first place and taking home my trophies but even so it's gonna be a whole lot of fun and so stay tuned everyone on and there's going to be a whole lot of fun coming, a whole lot of gaming, a lot of Mario and Sonic fun, some Nintendo fun, and you know what it, and you just, you know how it all is. Is I'll see you all in the next game video or on my next vlog video. You know, so stay tuned, everyone. Aaron Prime, 117, signing off.